Hey, what's up guys, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about a hidden iPhone feature, the back tap. Did you know that you can turn the back of your iPhone into one giant button? Oh yes. Yes, you can. Hmm. I think that was Obama. Oh well. So yes, you can double tap or triple tap on the back of your iPhone and make it perform functions. This is what I call a perfect harmony of hardware and software working together. Now, I won't bore you with the nitty gritty, so let's get coffee going. So I've been waiting for a long time now to get my hands on this one. It's the Panama Geisha coffee. If you want to go down the rabbit hole, look up Panama Geisha. So here it is. Cheers. Hmm. That's actually pretty good. It's really good, so I wonder how the Elida Geisha coffee is. Well, my goal is to get to that one. Hopefully someday soon. Now, back to back tap. Let's see it in action. To set it up, let's go to settings. Now scroll down and select accessibility. Now select touch. Scroll down and select back tap. Now select double tap. As you can see, we have quite a few default options over here. So we can have double tap turn on the flashlight. We can have it lock the rotation, lock the screen, mute your phone, take a screenshot, turn the volume up or down. I mean, quite a few options. So for this example, let's select flashlight. Now go back and select triple tap. For this one, we'll select control center. Now let's see it in action. So let's start with double tap. Now I'm going to double tap to bring the flashlight on, double tap again to turn it off. Let's see that once more. Okay, so that works. Now let's try triple tap. And that brings down control center, triple tap again, and triple control center goes away. Let's see another example. So let's go back to settings and then select accessibility. Select touch, scroll down, go to back tap, select double tap. This time I'm going to go to my shortcuts. And every time I double tap, I wanted to play my favorite playlist. So let's select play playlist. Now go back and whenever I triple tap, I wanted to call my favorite person. All right, so first up, double tap. Once I double tap, it will start playing my favorite playlist. All right, enough of that. So let's do triple tap and it starts making my call. Well, back tap is pretty useful when you start customizing it. You can have it take a photo, you can have it recognize the music that's playing and add it to a playlist. You can have it call someone or even someone the devil. Who knows? Well, maybe the last one is a little hard to reach, but you get the point. You can customize this to no extent as it ties in with shortcuts, which by the way is a whole nother level of automation. So stay tuned for a video on that one sometime soon. All right, folks. So there you have it. So if you like the content, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.